Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dawn from Online Selling Wisdom. I also have an eBay store, www.thesouthernyankeegirl.com. And today, I feel like I have to do a little bit of catch up with you guys because I let you down on the videos this week and it's already Thursday and you've only had one video. Oh, and the recipe for the great butterscotch cheesecake. I know you're going to like that. That's in the refrigerator. That's cooling. Yep, changed my outfit for you because I don't want you to be bored looking at me with the same old grungy pink t-shirt on. So, yeah, same day, different outfit. You know, we got to keep it fresh. So, you have your item listed and it's sold. woo yay. Oh, I love it when things sell. So now we're going to pack our item. You know you can wait for this day. And I want to go through with you what you're going to do um, when it comes time to pack an item. So I've had this, uh, this is patience, okay? I can't express patience enough. This beautiful men's eyes odd shirt I have had up online um, for probably a year and nothing. It's not selling. But I'm not going to get rid of it. Hey, I paid four ninety nine for this beauty. And um, I sold it. So... Yay for me. I made a good profit on it. I'm very happy. It's a beautiful shirt. Like, you know, if my husband wore sweaters in Florida, I'd make him wear it. Um, so this is what I want you to do. You're going to get your item that you sold. We're going to use my sweater as an example. And we're going to check it. We're going to check it again for stains on the sleeves. Okay. We're going to hold it up in some good lighting and look for stains on the front. And I don't see anything, stains or flaws or snags on the back. And the only thing I'm seeing, because I do have long blonde hair, as you can see, and I do have a dog, um, is hair and some you know, from being stored with other clothing. So I'm going to take my sticky brush, get one of these. If you're selling clothes, this is a must-have. And I'm just going to wipe it all down, get it nice and clean. I have a clean desk in front of me. Just get all the flaws. I want this to look new. I want the person that opens this up saying, oh my gosh, that's a beautiful sweater. And I want the feedback better than described. I mean, I do my best to describe my items, but when someone gets an item and they leave me feedback that says, better than pictures, better than described, that is the best compliment anybody can give me. And I can't figure out why this video is blue, but you know what? I can't, I can't be editing these videos, so just bear with me. I'm not blue today. I'm not the smurf. It's just the lighting in the room. Okay, so we got that all clean. Now, I, again, I'm not real computer savvy, so I don't have my eBay account up in front of me. And so I don't know how this person, um, if I gave free shipping... But um, let's say I gave free shipping. What I want to do now is I want to be able to ship this item as cheaply as possible because that's money out of my pocket. That's money off my profit. You guys need to get creative um, with shipping things. Make people feel like this is a new item. You know, you're proud of what you're doing. Take some pride in what you're doing. I take, I got at Costco last Christmas, yes, it's been almost a year, and I still have a ton of this white tissue paper. Um, go to your local Costco or, or at the end of the holiday season and pick yourself up some uh, wrapping paper or whatever you want, something nice, and put your items in it. I take my business card that I showed you earlier, and I stick it in there. Sometimes I'll write thank you on the back, but I'm always afraid that that ink is going to run. So lately I've just been sticking it in there. That way they can get in touch with me if they have a question. If you want to not get, uh, get you know, spend the money right now on the cards, go ahead and just write a little note. I used to write it on my mom was a crafter, and she left me with a ton of card-making paper that I cut up into squares like this. And so there's Christmas stuff in here. You can just take a piece of note paper like that, fold it, and write a nice little note. See, that one has a Christmas joy on it. And just write a note in there. Thank you for your purchase. We appreciate your pay fast payment. 
something really sweet and nice, and then put your um, name, your name of your store or um, your logo name, your eBay logo name on there. So I got this all wrapped up. I have my business card in there. And usually for me, if it's going far away, well, let's see how much it weighs. That's going to determine, okay? That's going to determine how I'm going to ship it. It's over a pound. So over a pound, um, for some reason, most people think that an item will ship cheapest standard postage, and that's not the truth. I can put this in a flat rate envelope for $4.99. Uh, because it's over a pound, it's going to cost more than that if it's standard rate. I give people the option if it's not free, they can have standard rate shipping. They can have, if I know it can fit into a flat rate envelope, flat rate, or I offer them express flat rate because I know it will fit into the same size envelope. Um, this, this is the priority flat rate for $4.99, and the express is the same. And what express does is it also helps you with your top rated seller status um, because it shows that you offer same day, sh not same day shipping, but one business day shipping and that really boosts things as far as your sales. So um, I am going to say that I'm going to be shipping this because it weighs over a pound and it's free shipping in the priority. Now the other day I told you to get these bags and then bing, the light went on. I told you when you put stuff in these cardboard boxes, make sure that you put it in a poly bag in case there's bad weather, in case your package gets dropped and your item won't get destroyed. But um, what I really should have been telling you is utilize the free things that the Postal Service gives you. Use these if it's going to go first class, okay? Save those for yourself. You had to pay for those. And it's what I should have been doing all along. I don't know why I didn't, and my light just went on. So then they have these these bags from the post office. They're a high bag, and they'll also protect it from the water. So I'm going to put it in a priority high bag. And this also will help shrink down my sweater to make it smaller. It causes a bit of a vacuum. Now, don't laugh at me, okay, but this is what you have to do. You have to... Get down there, okay? You have to get down on it and squish it. <laughs> okay, so it gets small. Because, listen, the name of this video is 10 pounds of shit in a 5 pound bag. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to get this sweater in this envelope for $4.99 if it's the last thing we do. <laughs> Alright, so again, get on top of it. Squish it down. Get all that air out. Take your strip off there. You see that? We're going to squish it in there. Squish it down. Took the strip off. And then bring it up. And that envelope has to seal. <gasps> Didn't think I could do it, did you? <laughs> oh, I humor myself. You know, I'm home all, all day long with a seven pound Pomeranian, so I got to get some kind of fun. You know, sad but true. All right, then, I don't know if they sell this anymore or not. Um, I happened to find this in a dumpster. Yeah, in a dumpster. I found like 15 rolls of it. Someone was throwing it out at a department store. But it's priority tape, and I just like an extra precaution, so I put that on there. Make sure the edges are closed. All right. Now, we don't care how much weight this weighs. We don't have to weigh it again because if it fits, it ships. The Postal Service tells you that. So get it in there, people. Get it done. Now I'm going to go online, and I print uh, my postage right at home. Okay, some people go to the post office. It costs more. I'm uh, a top-rated power seller, so I get a discount. I don't know if you guys, when you first start, will get a discount on the shipping. I think it might be a little bit cheaper if you do it online. So um, why not? Why even leave the house and take the money to go, you know, gas in your car to go to the post office. Print your shipping label. Get it on there good. I use three pieces of this. I don't have my shipping label printed, but um, the shipping label, your shipping label will come out and then it will come out with a receipt. I save all my receipts because when I do my book work 
at the end of the week, the end of the month, the end of the year. Um, I have all my receipts, and I can just, it's just proof to me that, um, you know, I sold the item, what I sold it for, what the postage cost me. So get your postage on there, and then it's ready to go. So, you sold one, you list five. That's how this works. I know, a lot of work. You sell five, guess how many you list? Ten or fifteen. So yesterday, uh, I sold five, and the day before, I sold twelve. So I have a lot of listing to do. So tomorrow is Friday. It's the slowest day for eBay sales for me. Although sometimes if the weather is really bad up north or it's gotten cold or there's not a good football game on, people are sitting around on their computers. These are all things you have to take into consideration why your sales are slow. Um, I'll do a lot of listing on Fridays and Friday nights because I don't have that much to pack usually. And uh, I do try to get, I can give you this hint, I do try to get my packing done first thing in the morning. Um, because I went running and took time for myself this morning, and then I made that. Let's hear it again. Awesome butterscotch pumpkin pie. Um, I got a little late start, so I have to do my packing now, and it's already 2 o'clock, and I have to be to the shipping store by 5.30. So I got to get moving. And you keep listing, on um, we'll keep selling, and we're going to do this together. There is no failing when it comes to eBay if you're listening to me and all the hints and tips I give you. Oh, I did want to give you, if you guys are interested um, in selling online clothing, brands to look out for. This guy, Stephen Rakin, I found his uh, video on YouTube. He is the best. He went ahead and did something that I have been wanting to do for years. And he went ahead and wrote an online book. 101 killer clothing brands. I downloaded it onto my phone. It's the best thing I ever found, and I suggest if you're selling shirts, clothing. He wrote all the brands down. He wrote what to look for for that brand. Not everything has to be top end. It's just a matter of how much competition. And I feel like this book that he wrote is going to only not only help me, but it's going to help you. So again, if you want to watch some of his YouTube videos, I don't even know the guy. I emailed him today and asked him if it's okay if I, you know, gave him a little boost. His book was $19.99, well worth it. I mean, this, the one shirt that I showed you in my last video, uh, I'm going to make $19.99 10 times, so I'm not too worried about paying $19.99, but if you don't have the money, watch my videos, because I am giving you a few hints from his book and other, other websites, um, but again, that's 101 Killer Clothing Brands by Stephen Rakin. R-A-I-K-E-N. Him and his buddies have some great, great videos for you guys to watch. All right, see you next time.